Now let's uh, get to the uh, parts about input and stuff like that. So we know that, and we'll, I'll just copy and paste resume. We know that we start in the background music state. That's the first thing that's selected. So we need to show the, oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, this is, uh, here we go. So we need to show the background state and we want sound effects off. So we're gonna have to copy these two and put them in here also because it, this will be our loop right here. So we'll need the same thing and I'll turn sound effects off like that and then BGM on. And then I'll copy and paste this and I'll call this one sound effects. And this one will just be the opposite. I'll turn this one on. I'll turn this one off. And we'll go like that. We will go to BGM because that's the first one and it can literally go unconditionally. Once it's set up, it goes into the loop. And then we'll have these ones for pressing down paste and then pressing up. Most of the stuff is just copy pasting as you can see. And that's it. We should be able to right now be able to, to uh, scroll up and down between the BGM and sound effects. Okay, so now the cool part, this is where we get to say, okay, now we're adjusting sound effects. Let's do BGM first. We're gonna need two of these. We're gonna need, this one will be a BGM add. So we're adding. And this one will be the BGM minus. Subtracting from our background music. And this is fairly straightforward here. We want this link to be add. This is gonna be when we press right. So when writes, and it can be pressed. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure you want it pressed because you want to give it the appearance of it constantly going up. And we'll get rid of these. And actually I'll get rid of the, uh, you know what, I'll delete this one right now. Because we'll set up this one and then copy paste it when it's ready. What we need to do is we need to change the switch variable and we're gonna look for the common background music and we're going to adjust it and I'm gonna adjust it by two every time. And you can really pick on this like how you want it but with a gauge that size, I want it to be two every time that it's pressed. And again, we don't need to worry about equalizing the variable or anything because it can only go to 100. So we'll hit okay there. And that should be able to uh, bring the variable up. And we also need a link. So this link, oops. This link will be unconditional going back. So it's gonna change the variable and then come right back. Next one is, is we can copy and paste this and this is going to be the minus side and all we're going to do is we're going to change this to minus two from the background volume adjust i will copy and paste this one and i will say change this to when left is pressed press ok then an unconditional back to bgm Oops. All right, so let's test this and just make sure it works. We are gonna go to options and now we should be able to scroll up and down our background music gauge. All right, and then we don't have a way out and we haven't done anything to sound effects yet. So let's do this uh, right here. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to change this to sound effects plus. And instead of the background volume adjust, I'm going to choose the sound effects volume adjust. 
This is, I mean, this is literally how simple it is. I'm going to copy the link that adds, which was pressing right. And then I'm going to copy the link that takes it back. And then I'm going to copy and paste this action and call it sound effects minus. And I'm going to copy and paste this link, pressing left minuses. And I'm going to copy and paste this link because it unconditionally goes back. And the last thing we want to do is make sure that we make it minusing too, not adding. And that should be set up for our logic. If we go to options, we can adjust our background. Now we can adjust our sound effects. And we can go back up and adjust them as we want. So that's pretty much it. The only thing is, is we do not have a way to get back to our main menu. And so in order to do that, we need a, just like we had an option set up, we need a main setup. So I'll call this main setup. And I want any of these states to go there. So I'm going to add a link and I'm just going to say when B is pressed. So the cancel button to go back. And I'm going to copy and paste this. And so both states can go back to main setup. Now we have a lot of these actions here already set up. So we do not need to generate anymore. Matter of fact, we need to destroy them. Hopefully I don't forget that by the time we play test. And, but we do need to turn off things. So the first thing we need to turn off is the background to no image. That's right. We don't need to turn them off. We need to turn them on to no image. And then sound effects, we also need no image. And I'm going to move these to the top so that they're, that's the first thing that happens. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background to main. I'm going to put that right below changing the no, no image. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to resume, but we're going to do off because I want it to go back to options. If you wanted it to go back to resume, like it was restarting the menu, then you could turn this on. But I want it to go back to options. Then we'll do options on, and then we'll do exit game off. And then this will go unconditionally to our options. So let's take a look. Let's see how we did here. Go to options, adjust our background, get it all nice. And then we go back. And <laughs> all right, so it did go to options, but it did the exact same thing I was hoping I didn't forget. Okay. The gauges stayed. They didn't destroy themselves. So this is what I was saying. Uh, we, we weren't ready to set it up for destroy because we don't want to destroy our displays until the logic goes into main menu setup. So when you cancel, it's going to go into main menu setup. And since we can't destroy another object easily, what we're going to do is we're going to destroy the display object and we're going to do this when the logic is in the main setup when it's in the main setup it's going to destroy itself and then we're going to do the same thing for this one when the logic is in the main setup and that's how we're going to get those objects to destroy themselves and the display to go away so we got the display just and now we press b display is gone and we can see from the debug menu that the let's see i'm just making sure that okay okay so the selections are still there but they're on their no image that's right but the uh the sound effects gauges are not there the displays so it worked i wanted to make this edit to point out that if you do destroy objects and you do not want them to ever come back 
then do make sure that in the basic settings under the restore after destruction condition that you set it to none. I'm not sure if this would have made a difference in the menu, but it could have and it definitely will make a difference in your scenes. For instance, bullets is one that you destroy the bullet when it does its certain thing. And then if you were to transfer scenes without this option set up, and just on like say scene change which is the default when you come back into the scene that bullet will be respawned even though you destroyed it so just a quick thing about this i wanted to make sure that both my bgm and sound effect were set to none on their restore after destruction condition that is pretty much it i mean that is your simple menu setup you can be walking around now jump up and down pause the game the player stays still you can adjust your volumes which notice that they saved you can go back you can resume or you can exit the game as the player wants now there is a lot more you can do with this uh, we can add load and saving and items and all this stuff and i eventually will get to this um, I just know that this was needed now. A simple menu was needed now. I also want to do everything from any kind of menu we would ever have, like from a splash screen to a title screen to a game over screen, just any kind of a, uh, like a main game loop of menus, whether it's a scene or on the menu scene. I'll have it in this playlist. So hopefully this helped um, get you started. Any questions, drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you at the next video.